What's happening, everybody? It is Hobbs back here with you, along with Luna. Luna is here with me. You want to come see what we got in the mail? Anyways, um, <clears throat> I got a package from MVD Entertainment. I want to thank MVD for continuing to send me stuff to review. I guess we're going to do this again for 2024. So keep sending them. So the first film we have, this is one that Jen and Christian reviewed called Candyland. Now I have heard a little bit about this one. Some good, some not so good stuff. <clears throat> this is about a bunch of lot lizards and it's kind of like a slasher from what I've been told. So I don't recognize any of the cast. But that is Candyland. That is an NVD visual. Hold on a minute. Let me read that correctly. Yeah, that is an MVD visual film. Candyland. Sorry about that glare. <clears throat> That's the first title. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me, guys. One second here. Second title is a remake from the original film from the 1960s. This is a Synapse film. This is Blood Feast. Blood Feast. Now this has got a crazy cast to it. Looks like the main character is Robert Russler. <laughs> and then we have Caroline Williams as well in it. And Sophia Monk from The Hills Run Red. Now, I just reviewed The Hills Run Red recently and I've been saying to myself, when is she going to do another film? I think this was 2016, but um, this is supposedly this is supposed to be crazy, uh, kind of a cannibalistic film. I know the remake had to do with body parts, but this is more. I've heard this is completely different than the, the original, but that's okay because I'm digging this cast and uh, how bad can it be with Robert Wrestler? You know. And then the next one they sent, which I was elated, elated to get, which Cutting Class, which is a horror comedy with actually Brad Pitt in it, Donovan Leash and Jill Schlowen. This is the MVD Rewind Cutting Class. Now, <clears throat> I've only heard about this, so I've not seen it. So I do know that it's considered a horror comedy. And looking forward to checking that one out. And then they sent me a couple screeners. A couple screeners. So Conan the Destroyer, the Arrow release. Conan the Destroyer, the Arrow release. Not the slip, but it's all good. It's just the Arrow. Maybe I'll find a cover for this one. And you can't have Conan the Destroyer without having Conan the Barbarian. So they sent me the Conan the Barbarian to this set. Again, these are just screeners. But, you know, it'd be cool to watch the movies. They do come with all the features. And it's been very rare that I've seen one that did not have Kick Billy playing on a regular Blu-ray. So, anyways, uh, that's the loot. I will get these all up and reviewed more than likely next month. But, uh, thank you all for watching. And I will catch up with you later. Peace.